So my name is Katie Wollahan. I am a GP registrar based in Galway at the moment. I studied in Dublin, in Trinity, for my undergrad, and then I went on to internship. I did six months in James's and six months in Kilkenny. And then from there, uh, straight away, I went into GP training in the Western Scheme. So I'm in Whitehall Medical in Galway City. This is my uh, practice for fourth year, so it's my final GP practice, and I love it. I don't think I could say enough good about the practice here. It's a very warm environment, it's a very supportive environment. Um, and as a job, I just think it's a, it's a really safe place to be as a trainee. Uh, it's very supportive, both in, in learning needs, but also in, I suppose, the, the difficulties that have come with COVID and the year that has passed. So it's been a really good job and I'm really enjoying it. It's a supportive environment because no matter what the concern is, your concern is listened to, it's addressed and it's a, it's a very safe place to be as a trainee. I think any concern I had, I know I could bring to someone and it's, it's both my trainer, John O'Sullivan, but it's also the other GPs, it's the nurses, it's the administrative staff. They've all been incredibly supportive. I've been here now for two months and it, I already have a very strong sense of belonging here. Um, and I think that's probably one of the things that drew me to general practice is the sense of belonging that I found here, but that I've seen in other places as well. I think there's an awful lot of paths that GP trainees probably have that might not be available to other trainees. We, we see our programme directors once a week, we see our trainers every day, we have protected training time with our trainers in the form of tutorials every week. So we have an awful lot of senior support that's probably unique to GP training and it's something that means that the issues that crop up along the line that are part of life, that are part of jobs, that are part of training can get smoothed out easily enough and I know I've had an awful lot of support um, in this job and in previous jobs to iron out any issues I've had. The network of trainees is the organisation within the ICGP that represents trainees. It is made up of trainees from each year in each scheme and we act as the voice of trainees within the college. It's a very interesting role to have. I've been the chair or one of the co-chairs last year and I'll be one of the co-chairs again this year and it gives you a good insight into how training is evolving and uh, all the differences that are coming down the line uh, in terms of transfer of training and things like that. And it also gives us a strong voice to represent the issues with trainees on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the college seems to really hold our opinion in high regard. They really take what we say on board and I've really enjoyed the role. I fell into medicine, I would say, and I don't think I had any idea what I wanted to do. Um, and I don't think, or I might not have gone straight into general practice if I hadn't had such a good experience as a medical student. You get an awful lot of training as part of general practice training. You get your day release days, a half day in your first two years and then a full day in your second two years. And your the whole experience is geared towards your learning needs. And I think that that means that you don't have to have a lot of experience before you go into it, you just have to have an interest. Based on my own experience, I didn't know that I wanted to go into general practice until I did it. I knew nothing about it. And I think lots of people do come into medicine with more of an idea than I had. Lots of people come from medical backgrounds. Because I didn't come from a medical background, I didn't have any real idea about what I wanted. So I think the best advice that I could give would be to spend some time in it, uh, to see it, to experience it hopefully to meet other GPs who will give you a good experience, who will show you what it's like. Um, and th it's those GPs that I've met along the way that have probably shaped my experience and shaped my path a little bit. And I'm very grateful to those GPs.